Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the great Tadpole Jackson once more presiding. You see, I've been on the internet for a little bit last night, I'm watching some leafy videos, some undoomed videos, some amazing, some amazing atheist videos, and well, I found out that, well, you know, there's this YouTuber known as Vegan Game. And you seem, Mr. Gaines, you seem to like to threaten people who eat meat. You say you want to turn us into your wallet. You want to challenge us to come to some meetup at some little vegan vegetable club thing to try and fight you. Well, this is my challenge to you, Mr. Gaines. You see, I might not be that big. I might not be a bodybuilder. <clears throat> but I have a problem with people like you. Who want to threaten me for eating a cheeseburger and a side of bacon with a nice big juicy steak with your little knife and your little size. Well one, that's not a knife. This is a knife. So you want to threaten me, Mr. Gaines? Well this is me challenging you to come down here to South Carolina, the little town of Yamasee. We can do this right here at the train station, right across from where I stay. Me and you, buddy. Come on, bring your little knife. Bring your little size. Because this knife seems to be a little bit bigger than your knife. And I'm pretty sure this machete here can take on your little size. So bring it. You want to challenge me to a fight, Mr. Gaines? Well, bring it. Because I'll tell you right now. I have trained myself to be well versed in how to use a sword. So I'm pretty sure I can use this just as well as a sword. So if you want to challenge me to a fight, you want to try and talk shit to me and my meat eating brethren? Well, I'd say bring it. Bring it, Mr. Gaines. Come on down to South Carolina. Cause this is how we I'll show you how we do it down here in the south. I'll show you how I'll turn you into my wallet. I'll show you how I'll stomp you into nothing but a little bunch of little pieces of blood and pulp all over the pavement, like you say you want to do to a baby in a stroller. I challenge you, Mr. Gaines, and your little broccoli eating self. Come on down here. Challenge the great tadpole. Alright? I challenge you to come bring it to me, Mr. Gaines. Because I'm not scared of you. None of us are. We want you to bring it. Bring the hate. Come on, Mr. Gaines. I mean, I only got six followers, so the likelihood of you probably seeing this video are slim to none. Like I said, I want you to bring it. I want you to bring your little threatening little ass down here. I want you to come after me. I want you to come to the Yamasee, South Carolina. To the Yamasee train station. The Amtrak lets off at 6 at 8 o'clock, 8, 8.30, on a Saturday, every week. So come on, I'll meet you as you get off the train. I'll get my six little followers to come out there and watch it. You can bring all your little fans and your little vegan fuck boys to come on with you, Mr. Gaines. Come on. Bring it on, man. I'll show you what it's like. You slice with a rusty dull blade. I'll butcher you like the cows and pigs I used to butcher with my granddad when I was a little kid. I'll turn you into the bacon. Turn you into the burger. Turn you into the pork chops. Come on, man. Come on, meet me down here. Oh, that's right. You won't. Because you're a wuss who hides behind your little camera. In your little room. Trying to make yourself look like you intimidate. You ain't intimidate nobody, Mr. Gang. You intimidate no one. And as I said, come on down to South Carolina. Come on down, Mr. Gaines. I dare you. I dare you. Bring it.
I won't even use the weaponry. I'll use these. My bare hands. Heck, I might even use some bare hands. <laughs> Mr. Vegan Gains. You're a piece of shit. I hope you know that. Okay? You're a little vegan fuckboy. And I ain't gonna... And let me get this out there right now. I ain't got a problem with vegan. I got a problem with your type of vegan. You wanna threaten us. You wanna treat us like shit because I decide to be an omnivore like a human is. Eat both meat and plants. We're omnivores. We choose what we want to eat. And yes, to me, a pig's life being slaughtered for my food is acceptable more than a person being murdered. Because unlike most people, I know bleed. animals have no souls. Humans, though, we got a soul. Okay? I mean, it doesn't really do much for me, but we have them. But even in Christianity and other unified religions, you know, the biggins, they don't believe animals have souls. Because they don't. A pig's life and a cow's life and a chicken's life matter a lot less to me than another human. But if you want to come and threaten me and other meat eaters for being meat eaters, well, bring it. Mr. Gaines, bring it. I'll be waiting. The great tadpole, out.